I will say that, you know, we deal with so many issues, problems, challenges in life that I think it's good to go straight to the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may, uh, you may be familiar with this, uh, this older gentleman uh, when he doesn't have a giant YouTube uh, rumble play button in front of his face. But this is a uh, former president in the United States. And that guy uh, is, hold on, why is this, there, is there a, is that, what is this thing right here? What is that? That is the thing, let me, let me turn that out. There you go. Um, I, have, I have this weird type right across the top of my forehead. Um, the, who is, you know, you might know who he is. He's the only orange person in, you know, in captivity, whatever. Um, he's uh, Alvin Bragg's new boyfriend, whatever you want to call it. But um, it, they always use this still photo, no matter how the video starts. So I don't know how he settled on this super nut picture of himself where he looks like he's on a hard fade, but it's not good. So everybody be on the lookout for the squinty right eye. And um, But this one, you know, again, this is about solutions. Finally, a politician who isn't just talking about the challenges. He's got real, tangible, material, ethical, ever so slightly weird solutions. I think. I don't know. I haven't watched this, and nor would I watch it early. I'm not going to watch it without you guys. Uh-uh. Here we go. Homelessness plan. Here it comes. Super mega mega cities. Build a wall around homeless people. Here we go. Our once great cities have become... Have become dumps. Hold on. Wait, this is a, I had to turn the audio up a touch. Our once great cities have become what? Unlivable, unsanitary nightmares. Unlivable, unsanitary nightmares. If you, I mean, well, yeah. I mean, Portland, certainly. But I, you know, all the other cities, you know, if you live in one of the once great cities, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. Of course, we're talking about Toledo. We're talking about uh, Bakersfield, California. We're talking about Fresno. We're talking about what's left of Miami, I suppose. And God knows what the fuck is happening in Orlando because I hear uh, DeSantis is going to build a prison right next to Disneyland. And we're the groomers. <laughs> Please continue. Surrender to the homeless, the drug addicted, and the violent and dangerously deranged. <laughs> oh, so you're including yourself. Okay, good. Surrendering to the homeless. I see. We're making many suffer for the whims of a deeply unwell few, and they <laughs> are unwell indeed. They are so unwell. They're not well. We wish them well, but the wishes don't come true. They're just not, they're, uh, you know, it's like a Terrence Trent Darby song go, gone wrong. We don't. The homeless have no right to turn every park and sidewalk into a place for them to squat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, squatters is a euphemistic term for people who get into a building or a space that doesn't belong to them and stay there. And therefore, there are uh, often uh, squatters' rights and conversations about this. But in general, uh, we're not talking about the actual act of squatting, though it does happen on occasion if there's not a public toilet. Deeply unwell few, and they are... <laughs> And well, indeed. Yes, all over Mar-a-Lago. Every time I walk past a shiny sur surface, I see a, a lunatic, a madman, a crazed idiot lost among normal people. The homeless have no right to turn every park and sidewalk into a place for them to squat. <laughs> Sorry. Just him saying squat. Squat. And not liking that he's saying the word squat. You can, you can tell the word squat makes him uncomfortable. Do drugs. Yeah, you squat and do drugs. It's the, it, if you can stand and do drugs, you're, you haven't reached the, the, point to, you know, the point of no return, I suppose. You should not have to step over piles of needles and waste. As ne they uh, piles of needles. Neil Brennan, Neil Armstrong. There's just... <laughs> needles? Do you mean... And sidewalk into a place for them to squat and do drugs. Americans should not have to step over piles of needles and waste as they walk down a street. Beautiful city. <laughs> when did he turn into Ed Grimley? Oh, oh, as if 
like there aren't needles everywhere, I must say. And perhaps, perhaps that's human waste. But perhaps it's not. Perhaps it could be chocolate ice cream. I'd hate to find out the hard way. Oh, oh, as if, and it was such a great city. Uh, I think you know. Um, or at least once beautiful city, because they've changed so much over the last 10 years. Yeah, I blame the, the needles and the waste, I think, probably. that's Is that what you're talking about? You just don't find that attractive? You don't find that attractive? Or, or do you think these streets are made ugly by people greeting you in New York saying, you suck, get out of here? Our first consider- our, fir our great cities like New York are now filled with ruffian hoodlums, maniacs who yell at your favorite president, tell him to go back to fucking Florida, you asshole retiree. Terrible things, terrible un-American things. ...should be the rights and safety of the hardworking, law-abiding citizens who make our society function. <laughs> when I'm back in the White House... So not you. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I want to differentiate. We will use every tool, lever, and authority to get... Button, switch, crease, flippity-doodle, flap slapper, anything at our disposal. A disposal? Homeless off our street. Knobs, absolutely. Definitely knobs. <laughs> You want to take care of them, but they have to be off our streets. There is nothing. Com <laughs> yes, yeah, so that off the streets isn't the issue. It's where they go. What's the standard? And uh, since it was a Republican that eliminated all the mental health facilities, and it is Republicans who block the expansion of mental health facilities because they are under the impression that apparently liberals at some point are going to declare conservatism a mental disease and lock all of them up in some sort of Jade Helm Agenda 21 FEMA camp bullshit. It's a little hard to get a reasonable bill passed about taking care of people who are obviously either mentally ill from the jump or uh, destroyed by drug use over time because of the paranoia of the right wing, interestingly enough. Question about letting these individuals live in filth and squalor rather than getting them the help that they need. We need professionals to help them. Oh yeah? So uh, I'm, I'm hearing that maybe perhaps an investment in mental health services on the city and state level, sounding very dangerously Joe Biden at this point. <laughs> For a small fraction of what we spend upon Ukraine, we could take care of every homeless veteran in America. All right, fuck you, man. You were president for four fucking years. You just discovered that? You, you, you had an unfunded tax cut that that added a third of the fucking deficit was happened under you. And you couldn't, a third of that, 40, 40 fucking billion dollars. You can't crank out 40 fucking billion dollars, you chintzy bastard. What? Fuck you. You don't start complaining about the stuff that re that Democrats are currently trying to do and Republicans are fucking blocking. Veterans are being treated horribly. Uh. Likewise, with all of the money we will save by ending mass unskilled migration. We mass unskilled migration. I see. So you're saying that to work in and around Mar-a-Lago doesn't require skill because this asshole hires undocumented workers. I'm just, just saying, has for years. Have a huge dividend. Uh, uh, Lars says, how do you get Temu to stop emailing you? Uh, unsubscribe at the bottom. The rules still apply, even though it's a Chinese company to American uh, email rules. And then you can, you can forward them to like the, whatever, spam watch or whatever the shit that is. I'll find, I'll find out, Lars. Um, to address this crisis in our own country. As opposed to, what do you, you, could, you, you, you don't actually, you don't actually think we, you want, we think you want to address it in any other country. I don't think he wants to address it here. My strategy working with states, we will ban urban camping. Yep. Still homeless at that point. Wherever possible. Wherever possible. Violators of these bans will be arrested, but they will be given the option to accept treatment and services if they're willing to be rehabilitated. Many of them don't want that. <laughs> we'll try and help them, but a lot of them would rather be put in a wood chipper for America 
This is, what a fucking dickhead. This is so fucking stupid. Many of them will try to help, but they probably don't want to. And will try, fucking hell. Listen to this bullshit again. <laughs> this crisis in our own country. Under Sniff. Strategy working with states, we will ban urban camping wherever possible. Violators of these bans will be arrested, but they will be given the option to accept treatment and services if they're willing to be rehabilitated. Many of them don't want that. <laughs> if they're willing to be rehabilitated. What's your... Define rehabilitation. And it... it does it involve anthrax or ricin or a giant hole in the ground like Logan's Run? Def define rehabilitation, you bastard. We'll give them the option. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. It's only an option if there's another option. And what would that be? Oh, I know. You're going to jail them, thereby making them wards of the state. Wherein they will get uh, three hots and a cot and uh, health care on the taxpayer at, uh, by the way, at state expense. That's right. Get ready for block grants for prisons from the Trump administration. After he gets done executing 14 year old drug dealers uh, because a uh, quick trial, because quick trial. And then uh, I, I suppose giving people the option of of whatever rehab is, electroshock therapy, something out of one flew over the cuckoo's nest, no doubt. Um, he's going to, uh, if they don't take it, they're just going to go straight to jail where the taxpayer will fund their housing and their health care forever. But, you know, doing that out in the open is communism. We will then open up large parcels of inexpensive land, bring in doctors, psychiatrists, social workers, and drug rehab specialists and create 10 cities where the homeless... Uh -huh. FEMA camps. Hey, just call it a fucking FEMA camp. Declaring a national emergency about uh, the the drug problem, the homeless problem. Bussing people out to the middle of fucking Nebraska in the woods where there's like dead farmland. Put them all in a giant camp. And then what? It's George Carlin time? What a dickhead. Yeah, FEMA work camps. Uh, and again... Why is Alex Jones not flipping the fuck out over this? Because define the characteristics directly that that mean you go to this fucking camp. I mean, I, at some point, I'm sure there's a there's a loophole in there where you could scoop up almost anybody if they're not behaving, right? Jesus. Can be relocated and their problems identified. Uh -huh. Yes, we know what their problem is. Mental illness, drug addiction, poverty, the inability to get a, a working job with livable ways, you know, it, it, questions of abuse, uh, nutritional deficits. Yeah, we know what they, we we kind of know. We kind of that's not the fucking mystery. The mystery is what you do about it. But I'm sure I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what, folks? It's my. I have to apologize to you, the viewer, and to uh, this orange shit given over here. Uh, tell us. Tell us how you're gonna make them all better with the with the anti-homeless ray. But we'll open up our cities again, make them livable, and make them beautiful. For those who are just temporarily down on their luck, we will work to help them quickly reintegrate into a normal life. Mm hmm. Yeah, because that's not constantly being tried in every major city all the fucking time. Those who have addictions, substance abuse, and common mental health problems. Yeah, the uncommon ones like his are obviously there's going to need some, some obviously an outpost on Mars. We will get them into treatment. And for those who are severe. We'll get them into treatment. Against their will. Hmm mentally ill and deeply disturbed we will bring them back to mar-a-lago where they're comfortable i mean sorry mental institutions where they belong where they belong <laughs> anybody who's addicted to adderall <laughs> he's getting really close to bobcat goldthwaite facial expressions <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> i don't want to kill the homeless problem 
some people need more than a roof over the head. Walls would help. Um, all right. With the goal of reintegrating them back into society once they are well enough to manage, it's a tough task, a very tough task. Yeah, you could do it in 24 hours, though. I mean, if you could solve world peace in 24 hours, you can't fix this shit. Come on. What's taking place on the streets, what's taking place with their taking so much drugs. But the fact is, we're going to try. <laughs> fucking, by the way, all serious issues, please do not think for a second that this fuckhead actually has a serious solution or gives a goddamn. Just, just like, don't even go, what? Like, it's even hard not to go, what? Because there is no what there. There will be no answer to it. It's the most futile what the fuck of your life when you listen to this man. The strategy will be far better and also far less expensive than spending vast sums of taxpayer money to house the homeless in luxury hotels without addressing their underlying issues. And they have so many of these underlying issues. Yes, all their issues are so underlying. Unlike his, which are just straight up lying. It's, this is how I will end the scourge of homelessness. Scourge, you dumb fuck. It's pronounced scourge. It's not, it's not, I know gorge is a comfortable word falling out of your face. But it's, it's fucking, it's scourge. Make our cities clean and safe and beautiful once again. And make the woods full of crazed, drug-addicted, homeless people with untreated mental illness. It'll, it'll make hiking exciting again. We will do it. We will. Yeah, Trump is speaking of socialism. That is absolutely true. He's, he's, he's talking about socialist work camps. <laughs> Which... Which I, I, I'd have to look it up. Somebody make a note for me to look up whether Republicans are supposedly against that or something. Back America. Thank you. Thank you. Especially the, thank you, Nebraska, for being the future dumping ground of every mentally ill person we can bust to the woods and uh, have fun living in The Walking Dead. I hear it's a great show full of stars. So good. Yeah, this was uh, last night he posted this. Torch Crimson. Fucking hell. That's, that's his solution. He's going to round them up and move them out of the cities. With the help of Republican governors and mayors and sheriffs, I suppose. They'll have to be involved, right? And uh, they're going to uh, put them all in shipping containers because that never goes wrong when people are in the maybe boxcars. So it's got a familiar ring to it. That, I mean, it's it seems like the kind of thing a guy with mind camp on his fucking nightstand would think up. Good fucking Lord. Ugh. Like, there, there are several, by the way, this, this is obviously an issue. Obviously, part of it's poverty, part of it's drugs, part of it's mental illness. And it requires multiple uh, solutions because you can't solve three different distinct problems with the same solution. That's, that is the integral issue, that, like the, the primary issue with homelessness in the United States is that we try to solve mental illness um, drug, drug addled, you know, drug addicted to the point of incapable of functioning in society and people who are simply falling through the cracks or hit by hard times or go through a rough patch or have a, you know, a series of like the, every domino in their life that could fall falls at the same time there. You can't solve those three different versions with the same fucking solution. But he's like, scoop them up, put them all in a FEMA camp in Nebraska, and we'll sort them out while we sweep the city streets. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you have to solve the actual problem attached to each one. Because, let's say, you solve the problem of, of like, drug tourism, like we have in Los Angeles. 
or as in or uh, Seattle and Portland deal with now also San Francisco to some degree, but mostly Oakland. Oakland the the drug tourists have really set up in Oakland, um, where places like Dallas and Houston are giving their drug addicts who get repeatedly arrested, they're giving them a bus ticket to Oakland and saying, fuck off. And they don't have any resources when they get there. So they basically end up in a homeless encampment doing and getting drugs. And that's different from someone who can't reason anymore. Though That person is on a bullet train or a Greyhound bus to drugged and fucked up. But they might be salvageable by different means before that happens. Then you have people who have effectively either started out mentally ill or, or have fried their brains through drugs and aren't going to recover. And those people need to institutional help the rest of their lives because they are in effect physically handicapped by what's done, what's been done to the brain. And then you have people who need a fucking place to sleep while they look for a job because they're trying to stay, they're, they, they've tried to keep their head above water, got hit by too many fucking right hooks by life and, and ended up you know, underwater. And you're never going to solve those one way. And anybody who goes, we have a, pro a thing for the homelessness. It, I mean, just the jackassery of even addressing it as homelessness when there are this myriad of causes is in and of itself a failure to recognize the problem. There are people who are not homeless. They're mentally ill. There is never going to be a home for this person. They're not going to be able to manage an apartment. They're never going to be able to take care of themselves. So they are not effectively homeless. There, there is not a work program or a, you know a, a tutoring sim system that will help this person at all. They are not homeless. They are mentally ill with no support structure. That is not homelessness. That requires an entire different solution. Somebody who lost their apartment or were evicted or lost their home or struggling to keep, uh, you know, their head above water financially because they've got kids and, and the job they're qualified for, you know, or, or what they seek to get is not going to pay enough in this particular area might need assistance moving to a cheaper part of the country where they'd have a better life and more opportunities and the like. That, that oftentimes some people are simply trapped by their inability to fucking move home or move to a, a cheaper part of the country. They would gladly move to fucking Wyoming. Um, but how? They don't. They can't afford to get their shit there. Their, their belongings are the only thing of worth they have. They can't exactly throw everything out except shit in a briefcase or a fucking uh, duffel bag and then get on a goddamn bus and hope there's something there. Right, assisted living, some sort of like like cities where people want to become functional members of a small town, for example, applying for some sort of like moving assistance would be a great program for people who have fallen below the level of being able to live in fucking San Francisco, where in fact you have to make $300,000 a year in San Francisco to take home $100,000. And that's to make $100,000. You have to make three hundred. dollars because of the cost of living, the cost of housing, the taxes, all that kind of stuff. Which is obviously going to be impossible for nearly anybody there to maintain. And you're going to have a bunch of people who fall below that level. So what do you do for those folks? Do you insist that they stay there? Do you, do you hook them up with programs that are not going to benefit them long term? Or do you set up a program someplace else? Like we do, by the way, with immigrants who have sponsors, like we have people who come across the border who are seeking asylum, a similar program for American citizens who need help moving to a cheaper place where they need workers or they need, you know, uh, teachers or whatever the, a person is qualified for with a couple of options. I think a lot of people would take it. Uh, can I offer a counterpoint about moving? Uh, I'm not stuck in a very racist, homophobic state because I couldn't afford Seattle after living there for almost two years. I'm, you're not stuck in a very racist, homophobic state because I couldn't afford Seattle uh, after living there for almost two decades. Well, granted, but also I think as people move around, people tend to be, um, you find that 
people are are pretty okay in most places. The states, and as as more people move there and become productive members of society, you know, who aren't normal to that crowd, and it's a, it's a learning lesson for the people around them. It certainly beats living on the street. I'm, and by the way, that is one possible solution of five that you could have just for people who have fallen through the cracks. Not drug addicted people, not mentally ill. I'm talking singularly. The, the you know, like that issue. There's a big NIMBY issue. Partly, Kale Inc., but uh, the problem is we we have a, a we have a recognition issue with you know again when you scoop all the homeless people all the people who are homeless without a home into one category then uh, nobody wants to live next to a mentally ill child predator who couldn't get an apartment because they uh you know because they had to register as a sex offender so they just stopped doing it and they dropped off the grid and they used drugs anyways and so they live in a tent city amongst 10 people who are just, you know, broke or any myriad of other issues have brought them there. But this fucker, nobody wants to be next to that person. And since we categorically kind of squish everybody together into one mass, the the average person in the public is going to react to the homeless based on the highest threat level, the most dangerous, most difficult, um, and, and most concerning aspect of a group of unknown strangers living in tents nearby, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's why you have to solve for the real problems, not for homelessness. Like, spackle it shut like it's all the same fucking hole. That's what I think. Anyways, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. People look at their income in California and think moving to uh, New Mexico will be cheaper without realizing their income will not as be as high here unless they have uh, offered uh, sorry, uh, the ability to work remotely. Um, but they have to be willing to leave the big city. There are a lot of people who wouldn't go to the suburbs if you offered them a free house there. I don't know. I think, uh, and again, if you're trying to raise a family, that's different. But again, that you're exact, this, just the fact that you guys are talking about it in the chat room this way, I think that is, is, is a moment of you guys recognizing how many solutions there need to be. Yep. And Trump wasn't addressing anything. He was talking about brooming problem, you know, problematic people from the streets and putting them somewhere where you can forget about them. He didn't, he didn't talk about the actual funding. And in the middle of the thing, he couldn't stop himself from saying, well, these people probably don't want any help anyways. Get the fuck out of here. Like, again, there's no reason to even entertain that he really has a solution or really is interested in it. He's just... But it, he's recognizing that a lot of people are bitching about it or, or are concerned about it and is just taking advantage of that fact. Why in the world would you would I want to raise a family in the suburbs where the bigots are? I, I don't know that, Hakira, that that's... The suburbs aren't, like, necessarily bigot central, per se. I mean, suburban women are the people that turned against Trump ultimately... And, def and decided the last election and the most recent one, as far as sheer numbers. Conservatives don't want it, uh, solutions. They want people to shut up. Well, that's heavy sleeper. That's what we're talking about with Trump. That's, that's what he's talking about. 